my experience has always been uh, that they want to talk to their constituents. They, they want to understand the issues from your point of view. Um, you know, they hear from lobbyists and people in, the, in you know, the governor's office all the time about these issues. They want to know how these issues impact the people who live in their district. This was all new, so I knew nothing about this until today, but it wasn't hard at all. So you take notes, you speak with them, and it's just a matter of talking with them like you would do friends and family. The great thing about coming down here is Gus does all the work for you. Uh, so you sign up online, Gus sends you an email, and when you show up this morning, uh, he tells you when they set up all the meetings, he tells you when to show up at your legislator's office. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes. Good to see you. Yes. You know, public education, I mean, for a lot of people, that's been the door. I mean, that that's the key for many people to get out of poverty. Absolutely. And then school debt, I don't need to tell you about no. school debt. My first priority would be the public defenders, and that's what my bill should reflect. It was released this morning as well, too, so I'm happy to help out this year and then in future years as well, too. And I thank you for all the work that you do for the people of Minnesota, making sure people's uh, liberties are are uh, held true and that folks are held accounted, accountable for uh, the things that happen to usually folks around the lowest economic tier of, of the state. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Do you see any anything, any issues that you see or that you're struggling with that we can take back to our members and more or less say get out there and get the word out? Well, I think the key is that you know, as we come together and try to put this budget together, uh, it's a real challenge with divided government, but there is still opportunity to put together an actual working budget that, mm -hmm. that serves mm -hmm. Minnesota. So I think as you have you know, your members, if they want to reach out to their reps and their senators and just to let them know what their priorities are, mm -hmm. you know, this is the time of year where we need to hear from real people and not lobbyists. Because as a lawyer, I'm familiar with the severe funding crunch that we have in Minnesota's public defender system. And it's just unconscionable, the caseloads that people have and the, the salary levels. And we've really got to be aggressive about doing something. We have to be willing to be bold and propose to increase revenue to pay for the things that we value. What would happen if one of your constituents was accused of a crime and he or she was innocent, but because of an overstaffed, overworked, underpaid public defender, they didn't get the justice they deserved and they were found guilty of that felony. They lose their gun rights. Mm -hmm. Over. We wanted to make sure that you saw yourselves reflected in that budget that we assembled. So from public defenders to folks who work in higher education to school bus drivers and school employees, um, we hope that you, you feel seen, heard, and valued in what we assembled. And I also want to just note, we heard y'all on higher ed that we needed to go back and make some changes. So part of the reason why, and the governor and I, if you haven't noticed, really enjoy spending time all across the state. Uh, so we hit the road and we did listening sessions and we heard from you that we needed to add some additional funding there and we will, thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna need your support in the bill that I'm moving forward in higher education. Not, not only does it fully fund the system's request, it does a tuition freeze for our students. So it, it's a, so I'm really proud that we're actually fully funding all of all of the um, needs at the universities and colleges, and we are going to do a tuition freeze. So that's our plan. We have to be able to work with the other branches. So anything you can do to help get the message how important this. It is one of the most important jobs bills of this session. All of you have to drive on those roads that are full of potholes. All of you want options and choices for public transportation, bike and ped safety. That's all in this bill. So we appreciate the Teamsters so much. We appreciate what you do every day and your support for higher education, transportation, and everything that's right and just. Thank you so much. Um, as you go over and you go down the street and you talk to folks in the House and the Senate, um, it's important to say that no is not a plan. And if you have a plan to lead us to prosperity and to opportunity for Minnesotans, we would really like to see it. Because we have put our best offer out there um, in partnership with all of you and want to make sure that we are investing in working families and know that when unions are doing well in Minnesota, Minnesotans are doing well.